Yeah, uh, hi, uh, my name is Mr. Wee. I'm here to share with you our ITE our work study diploma in automation engineering. Okay, for work study diploma uh, in this program, the framework consists of uh, 900 hours of theory practical lessons in the IT College Central. And uh, you have to be hired by the company, of course, and you will serve 3,100 hours on the job training at the company. So as you can see, 30% uh, of this program uh, is with us in IT College Central and 70% will be at the company itself. Okay. What is this relevance of work study diploma in automation engineering? As you can see, uh, what we need here is a local workforce to support the manufacturing and the electronics industry. Uh, we have strong government support to improve uh, manufacturing efficiency and so that we can adopt even more advanced manufacturing technologies in today's world. So with the advanced manufacturing existed in this industry, it will bring about more new skills and of course uh, new job roles for our manufacturing industries. So we, we hope you could come on board and uh, serve us this, uh, this purpose. Okay, a typical job role of an automation engineering, uh, assistant engineering I would say, uh, is uh, first and foremost we have to perform technical and financial assessment of automation equipment and systems. Uh, you have to perform setup of automation equipment and systems, which also includes testing, uh, commissioning, inspection, uh, so and so forth. You have to integrate automated systems and uh, uh, in the shop floor, uh, means at the production floor of it, integrate so that all works hand in hand together. And you have to carry out maintenance and troubleshooting. Uh, for, uh, for, the, for the equipments, as well as uh, conduct the required trainings and documentation and administer customer support uh, as and when required. Okay, so this is just a brief, uh, brief guideline. Uh, it, may, it, may, it may be different uh, depending on which company you actually join. Okay, look, uh, for the attributes of uh, you as a student, uh, what we, we would like is that uh, you will, uh, as an engineer, okay, uh, you can pay attention to details, you think clearly and rationally to solve problems. Uh, that is what engineers in us uh, entails us to. Uh, we need to be cooperative, flexible and committed to the team uh, and task at hand. So in manufacturing industries uh, by large, it's a, it's a very big uh, company. Um, we don't work uh, alone most of the time. We have a team. Uh, it can be two, it can be three, it can be four. So depending on the scope uh, of work uh, in the industries. So as you can see, the industries are uh, uh, the typical environment of the industries. Uh. Okay, more work environment of the industry to be expected. You can see, um, you can expect to see some uh, robots, uh, some conveyor settings, or some machines even. Uh, most of the manufacturing industries are air conditioned, and most of you, uh, and maybe most of them requires you to uh, suit up, means that in a clean environment. Uh, some probably is just a jacket and just some uh, protective gears uh, along the uh, along the line here. So these are some of, uh, so these are some of the machines that you can see the machines. So lots of wirings and lots of connections are required. Uh, and of course not uh, and of course installation and maintenance work, which is a daily day to day task bread and butter in the manufacturing uh, environment. Okay. So uh, pretty pretty much I would say it's quite a high tech environment to work in and a lot of safety protocols to abide by and uh, you have to be on your toes you know, all the time. Okay, one of the, uh, uh, so career prospect, okay, uh, where will you be? Uh, when, as long as you sign, as long as you sign up and you are accepted into this program, you are given the role of, uh, likely a technician role. Uh, so this is when you first enroll into the, into the, into the program. So subsequently, when you graduated from this work study diploma in automation, you will be given the role of an assistant engineer. Okay, that is provided you pass and, and during the OJD, you clear all the task lists uh, at hand. Uh. So moving forward, um, we would wish to give you the, uh, the skills required for you to progress on in your career in the, uh, in the company. So you can see as once you, completed the uh, once you completed the diploma, you get an assistant engineer. And subsequently, with, with skills, with experience, you may progress on to engineer, or even senior engineer, or even manager uh, at the end. But definitely, the, the job role here is uh, 
uh, it varies in different countries, uh, in different companies as well. So this is just a guide, just a guide. Uh, in the first year uh, core modules, we will be, we will, you will learn about mechanical systems, you will learn about electrical and electronic systems, and you will learn about sensory systems. This is for the first year. Uh, this is for the first year module. For the second year module, will be on uh, automated system integration. Autom automated system maintenance and smart monitoring systems. Um, our our trade our program work study diploma program is two and a half years. Okay, so this this will encompasses the uh, this will be the uh, this will be the uh, point five years. Uh, or should I say that the third year the third year of this one. So which encompasses our conceptual design and uh, automated system improvement and as well as a company project where you have to undertake with your, your supervisors or your, or your co-workers in your company uh, to produce a project that is useful and functional in your, in the, in your company that you hire them. Okay. Okay, that's that's for the uh, off the job portion. It means that these are the the, mo the modules that I've showed you earlier on is for you to learn in in College Central here. Okay, uh, so let's talk about the seventy percent of the expect where it's on the job training. Okay, where where on the job training is uh, is just uh, in just getting a trainer uh, to guide you to to learn uh, to pass you the knowledge and the and to assess you on your competencies so that you can perform a job in your company. So during on the job, during on the job, uh, these are the list of skills uh, during your on the job training. Uh, purpose is to apply the skills and knowledge you have learned and uh, primarily purpose is to install, to maintain, to troubleshoot uh, okay, all the equipment uh, in, 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 your, in the manufacturing company. Okay, so these are just some of the examples of the skills for the uh, during your OJT, uh, such as like pneumatics, such as electronics, or and even uh, uh, vision and robotics. Okay. So this is just another list uh, of, of skills as well, which you have to which you have to do them in your in your company. Okay, so once uh, once all these skills are done, you will then be uh, qualified uh, and and satisfy the criteria for the uh, on-the-job training uh, experiment. Okay, uh, so this is the duration, training, training pattern duration, uh, training pattern duration of our training program, where you will take uh, a block of uh, two weeks to come back here and study. Uh, so you can see in April, you come back in the, in, for two weeks, September, you come back for two weeks, December, two weeks, and March, three weeks. Uh, this training, this training pattern, uh, is 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 as such to minimize disruption uh, uh, to the company's operation. Uh, but of course, the lesson schedule are subject to change. This is the schedule for two zero two zero. Okay, and that's all I have for work study diploma in automation engineering. Thank you.